Everyone, this is Jared from Breakout's Media. We're getting some questions about our media strategy sessions. Wanted to answer them here with you today. So Peter asks, Petter in Boulder, what video should I make for my new YouTube channel? So we get this question all the time. Whenever you're building new channels, we've got a couple of ideas for what you should do for your videos. One is, who are you and what do you do? As much as it sounds kind of basic, just be really clear. Hey, I am in social media marketing. I help people do video production. Be really clear on what you do and who you are. How long have you been in business? Where are you located? Is it a virtual service or an in-person service? That's it. Just be really straightforward. Um, there's lots of different ways you can share that. The second idea for your video is, we have some notes here that I took from these questions. What do you do? What are you excellent at? Hey, we build amazing websites for our clients and that's why they love us. Um, we do video productions for entrepreneurs, businesses, and startups. So be really clear, what are the services that you offer? And then the third thing is, what are you excellent at? What are you great at that's better than most of your competition? Maybe not everyone in your whole field, but what are you really excellent at? Are you great at customer service? amazing communication, uh, a love of the work, passionate about what you do. Really remind people why you're the expert and they should hire you. So thanks Peter for that question and we hope that helps. So if you're curious about why we do these media strategy sessions, I hope this helps and feel free to click the link in the comments below and book your one-to-one -one with us. Take care. Hi, we got another question about our media strategy sessions. Uh, Sabrina in San Francisco asks, I lack creativity and motivation for making new videos. What should I do? So I took some notes for you, Sabrina. So this is a great question. We get this all the time and believe me, it's, it's ubiquitous. We even struggle with this sometimes too. So first you wanna figure out what is it stopping you? Is it the technology, is it the creativity, or is it motivation to get work done? Um, not that you don't do work, but is it around specifically making new videos? So what is really stopping you? Really try to be tough with yourself and ask those hard questions. The second thing is, um, you know, if it's creativity, look at others in your field and see if some of that sparks or others around the internet and see if it's something that's possible for you to do and if their videos spark your creativity or your motivation to get that done. Um, if it's motivation, I would say get an accountability partner work with someone else, a colleague, a friend, and they're also trying to do something similar and then play off of each other. It always helps when we have someone that we're accountable to and not just ourselves, because it's very easy to let ourselves off the hook too easily. And the last thing is, if you pay for something like a media strategy session, you're gonna be more inclined to actually use it because you spent money and you really wanna redeem the value, the return on investment. And so if you spend the money on doing a media strategy session, I guarantee your motivation and your creativity, which is something we're gonna discuss, is gonna go way up. All right, so if you have any more questions, click the link below to learn more about our media strategy sessions. And I look forward to having a one-on-one -on -one with you soon. Take care. Thanks for the question. We got another question about our media strategy sessions. This one's from Tomas in Brazil. I often post video and get a little to no reactions on engagement online. What am I doing wrong, Jared? Great question, Tomas. Thank you. I know it's a vulnerable question, so I really appreciate you asking it. So there's a lot of factors that could be involved, and I'll go through a couple of them with you. Without seeing the content, I can't give 100% feedback, and that's why we do the sessions. We can review content together. So off the top, it might be that uh, maybe there's a few different issues. Is the content on brand? Is it aligning with the target demographic that you're speaking to? Are you using branded elements? Like I have my branded shirt on, the branded colors. So it has to all be aligned for brand for you to build trust and reputation online. One of the other challenges, does it speak to the right followers and target audience? Maybe the way that you're speaking isn't really aligned to the person that you're trying to target. Maybe you're not using the right keywords and things like that that are not aligned. And I take one more note for you. Um, if you have a significantly small audience size of followers, if it's just a few hundred and you're just starting, that's a really small statistical sample size. So it's not a great indication of what's not performing well. Once you get well over a thousand to, into the multi thousands of followers, which I know is challenging, um, then you have a better statistical analysis of why it's not working because you have a, lighter, a wider set of an audience to test. And my last thing is maybe 
it's lack of clarity in the message and odd delivery, something's wrong with the way that you're posting or an issue with the way that you're posting. Without seeing it, I'm not sure, but thank you for asking the question. It's great. This is exactly the kind of thing that we answer on the media strategy calls. We can look at the content you've created. We can talk about your brand, the messaging, the target audience, all these things. So click the link below. Definitely book your one-on-one -on -one with myself, a two-hour call that's recorded with notes and additional assets. Thanks for asking, Tomas. I hope that helped and take care.